my name is Randy Haskins. I represent the Underground Alliance Martial Science Research Association, uh, located here in Springfield, Mass. I am doing this video in response uh, to being asked to uh, explain my research of the martial sciences and what I've come to realize uh, throughout uh, my study. My discovery is multifaceted and extensive, but very simple to understand. You see, first let me start off by saying I truly believe information is more important than tools. Um, and tools are not needed, but nice to have. Slow down, let me, let me explain. Um, let's say you're driving down the Jersey Turnpike. Uh, you break down, you have a trunk full of tools, but you're in no man's land that we call the Jersey Turnpike. And um, you lift the hood and you're looking at the engine, but you have no idea what you're looking at. What good are those tools? Okay, let's go with the same scenario. This time, you have no tools on board. You break down. You pull over, you lift the hood, but you know what you're looking at. And you say, there's a hose disconnected. Then you remember, you have clothes on board, hanging on hangers. You grab a hanger, you wrap it, you bend it 17 times like we all used to do when we were a child to break a hanger. It breaks. It securely holds that, that hose in place, and you're able to continue on to your destination. No tools, but you got the job done. Now recognize that tools simply would have made the job easier, but they weren't needed. Your information is what you needed. With that being said, that holds true within the martial sciences as well. Replace the word tools with techniques. And understand that techniques are simply tools designed to make any effort effortless. If the tool doesn't make the effort effortless, I ask you, what good are the tools and what need is there for the tool? A lot of people speak on styles and, 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 and effectiveness of particular styles and Gichin Funakoshi Sensei uh, spoke on styles in his writings by saying that there's no such thing as a style. As long as humans are born with two arms, two legs, one head, the concept of style really doesn't apply. When traveling up one's respective martial path, ascending that martial mountain, uh, we may see different sights along our route, but once we reach the summit, the view and realizations should be the same. So style is simply limited to the respective school of thought, uh, not the universal realizations which ensure real life self-protection ability achieved from the training. Most don't understand or believe this fact, but there are basic universal principles that um, that govern the use of techniques when addressing physical violence, much like there being basic principles that govern the act of driving. No matter where you are in the world, the principles that govern the use of the martial sciences should be the same. And contrary to popular belief, techniques have specific uses and the act of training is where we learn and explore those uses. 
speaking from a pragmatic context, solely, uh, an individual's toolbox will be as complete as he allows it to be. Or desires it to be. There has always been this burning question. Um, as long as I can remember. Floating around martial circles. Uh, of whether systems such as karate are complete arts or not. I'm here to tell you. The question shouldn't be whether an art like karate is complete. The real question should be whether an individual's understanding of how to apply the lessons inherent within his respective martial system curriculum is complete. Or if you can apply those lessons in a more complete manner. Yeah. Martial systems themselves aren't limited. It's the individuals practicing them or teaching them that are limited. Uh, through my research of karate, aikajujutsu, judo, and uh, BJJ through 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, I recognize that all martial systems are supposed to lead practitioners to the same understanding. Also, martial systems themselves are simply a matter of majors and minors. What do I mean by majors and minors? What I mean is arts major in one thing and minor in the other things. But those other things are in there. Uh, whatever respective martial system you study is designed for you to use its minor to achieve its major. The problem is most individuals don't understand that so they denounce the fact that most arts are complete by design. I can go on for days about this subject, but uh, in a nutshell, all arts are the same. Pragmatically applied, uh, they are not limited by any means. Um, now, I can expand more on kata itself, but I won't in this video. I'll save that for another video. Um, if you have any uh, beliefs contrary to my points, please leave them in the comments. Um, let's just talk, all right? Randy Haskins, the Underground Alliance Martial Science Research Association. And we're always open to talk. Thank you.